Construction will begin on the world's first commercial Hyperloop system in the third quarter of 2019. It's located in Abu Dhabi, and Hyperloop transportation technology system brings airplane speeds to the ground, traveling at speeds of more than a thousand kilometers per hour in a move that some say is set to revolutionize the transport industry. But the business is not alone. A two-horse race is quickly gathering pace in the Middle East as two companies jostle for supremacy in the ultra-high speed space. But what progress has been made? And is the hype justified? My name is Oscar Russo, I'm the Deputy Editor of Construction Week, and joining me is Neha Bhatia, the Editor of Construction Week. Okay, Neha, what do we know about Hyperloop TT's latest developments? So a couple of weeks ago, Hyperloop TT announced that um, work would begin on the first, the world's first commercial Hyperloop system in Abu Dhabi uh, in Q3 2019. Um, the project will be located in Say Al Sadre area mm -hmm. of Abu Dhabi. It's very close to Al Dar's recently launched um, Al Ghadir development as well, and to the Expo 2020 Dubai site. Um, Obviously, like you said, it's going to revolutionize transport and um, traveling really the way we know it mm -hmm. in the UAE. Um, and obviously, one of the major perks is is um, how accessible it will be mm -hmm. from the expo side. Uh, obviously, we're going to see millions of visitors for the expo in 2020. Um, so yeah, really, really interesting to see how the Hyperloop pans out. It's Yeah, you're absolutely right. It's really fascinating. And of course, it's been gathering a lot of headlines over the last kind of year, I think that since Construction Week has really ramped up its coverage in it. But of course, as I mentioned at the beginning, Hyperloop TT is not the only company that's very active in the space. Of course, you've got Virgin Hyperloop One as well. Uh, you know, they're doing stuff across the GCC. What do we know about what they're doing in the UAE? Well, um, they're working very closely with Dubai's uh, Roads and Transport mm -hmm. Authority. Um, if I'm not mistaken, someone from Virgin um, told you some weeks ago as well, didn't they, that they were progressing with the project and that they were going to now look at the right uh, section and the right sort of... The preferred alignment yes. route, exactly. So that's yeah. what they're, they're looking at at the moment. They completed their feasibility study in 2017, if I'm not mistaken, and now they're planning to move ahead with the preferred alignment route before construction begins. But it looks like Hyperloop TT is ahead of the curve there a little bit. Yep, absolutely. And um, the good thing is, I think with Virgin Hyperloop One, obviously it has a partner like DP World mm -hmm. uh, supporting all its ambitions. Um, but perhaps a little more importantly, their Saudi project plans were on track when we last spoke to them. That's great news for um, the GCC on the whole. Mm -hmm. And and I think that definitely also supports their plan of building a GCC-wide railway network. Which is exactly what Amjad told me as well. He's a director of operations for the UAE. So their kind of long-term aspiration is to build a Hyperloop network that connects the UAE to Saudi, to Bahrain, you know, to Kuwait as well. So that's a long-term project. And of course, there are many hurdles that, you, you know, they have to get through there. But, you know... Plans are moving forward. A Virgin Hyperloop One do plan to open an office in Dubai either this year or the beginning of next year, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So it's pretty exciting stuff. But what can we expect to see moving forwards from them? Uh, I think from both companies, we're going to hear more in um, 2019 mm -hmm. because I think there's now a general understanding, not just in the Middle East, but around the world, that Hyperloop is not just science fiction anymore, mm -hmm. that it's not just... Uh, a concept on paper that sounds really cool and looks really interesting, it is doable. And I think more and more construction companies, like we've seen with um, Hyperloop TT's Abu Dhabi plan, we've seen some of the DAR companies mm -hmm. like Curry and Brown, Perkins and Will getting involved. I think we're going to see more and more construction companies sort of just um, trying to be a part of these projects um, as they should because yeah. it, it may well do for the Middle East what Dubai Metro did for the UAE, Dubai Tram has done for the UAE. So it's going to be very interesting to watch. Yeah, I think it's a really interesting point. It's going to be fascinating to watch. And of course, as well, you, know, you spoke about it not just being science fiction anymore. They've proved that the technology works with uh, Virgin Hyperloop One's test track in the US. It's 10 kilometer test track. So now you'll have Virgin Hyperloop One building a test track as well in India as well in 2019. So lots of exciting stuff. And uh, certainly going to see lots of construction companies kind of rush to get involved in this. Neha, thank you very much for your time.
well, you've been watching Construction Week in focus. We are pleased to be giving away a limited number of EMR vouchers worth 500 dirhams to spend at a range of really fantastic places. Now to get your hands on one of these vouchers, all you have to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the video, leave a comment, and share it with all of your friends. Winners will be contacted directly by Construction Week. But don't forget that we publish new videos every Tuesday at 9 a.m. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Thank you to Neha Bhatia and goodbye.